Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. And today, I want to know from you guys, would you throw frog colored baits if you could? And the reason I'm asking this is because I love frog colored baits, but you can't find them anywhere. Now, yes, if you want to fish your hollow belly frogs, you're going to probably have 15 different frogs to choose from. Heck, even if it doesn't look like a frog, they still call it like, you know, rainforest frog or desert frog or random frog names just because it's a hollow belly frog. But as soon as you get outside of your hollow belly frogs, it's really difficult to find a frog color. And this is not just new. This goes back, like I like to collect creek chub lures. If you're familiar with creek chub lures, they made things like the weed bug, right? This is one of my all-time favorite creek chub baits. Well, this is kind of like an original frog bait. It was meant to come over grass, and of course, they colored it in a frog pattern. Well, if you know anything about creek chub baits, they're real famous for their pikey minnows. Well, if you can find a pikey minnow in a frog pattern, generally it's much more valuable because there were not nearly as many frog patterns done on pikey minnows, meaning their crankbaits, their jerkbait style diving minnow baits, didn't come with frogs either. And this was not just Creek Chub. All the companies in the old days, frog patterns were not that common on diving baits. And that's how it is today too. You know, there's very, very few uh, baits that I can think of that have a frog pattern. Now, if it were me, I would 100% throw a frog pattern. I think they're a natural, uh, a natural color. Now, is it necessarily like I think the fish see it and they go, it's a frog? No, but I do think that if you fish a lake that's got bluegill or perch in it or frogs in it, any of your greenish hues are going to resemble those as well. And therefore, a frog pattern would be a productive color. I mean, one of my all-time favorite topwaters is this guy. This is the old storm rattling chug bug in their bullfrog color. Now I recognize that when you're talking about topwater baits, a lot of times the only color that the fish are going to get a good look at is the belly. And in this case, it's kind of got that school bus yellow color, which is a great color in my opinion. But this bait, if I could get this in a crankbait, I would throw it. 100% I would throw it. You know, one of my favorite topwater baits to mimic a frog pattern is this Excel 70. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful looking topwater bait that resembles the belly of a frog better than like any other bait I know. And I catch a lot of fish on this thing. To me, a frog pattern is a very natural pattern that most bass throughout the country are probably somewhat familiar with. Now, am I going to sit here again and say that the fish can tell it's a frog versus whatever? No, but the color hues to me are like, why don't we have more? I would throw a jerkbait. I would throw a, uh, I would throw a, a, a lipless crankbait. I would throw crankbaits. If I could get them in that color, we just can't get it. So I do have some baits custom painted in those hues. I have a lot of baits to mimic this bullfrog color because I do love it. Uh, but it's interesting to me how if you go to buy a frog, a hollow belly frog, or even some of your toad cell baits, you can get 25 different frog colors, it feels like. But when you want to buy a, a crankbait that matches a frog or a jerkbait, good luck. You won't find one. And I personally think we should have some. So let me know in the comment section, would you buy frog colored crankbaits and hard baits, or am I just hoping for whatever and I need to go get them custom made because it will never happen because based on history and based on right now I don't see the future ever really changing in terms of creating a lot of frog colored baits I hope they do probably won't happen anyways let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed today's video uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already stay tuned new video coming out tomorrow